Hi there everybody, I'm back with another painting. I found this photo online, so it's not my photo. Um, I thought I'd do a painting out of it. I'm not changing any layout to it, I'm just gonna paint it as is. And this is the result. And in this video I'm gonna try to show you how I built this painting up in stages in case uh, you could learn something from it. I hope hope you can, I, I don't know. Uh, so stick around and check it out. So the first thing I do is to cover the whole canvas in paint. And there's two reasons why I do this very quickly. The first reason is the overview. When you quickly go over each area, you only have time to assess roughly the value and then move on. When you, the whole canvas is filled, you have a great overview of what to do next. And the second reason is the focus. It's easy to get stuck in details and if you start fiddling with specific things you will often paint yourself in a corner. At this stage I continue to block in objects and patches of the painting. Not paying too much attention to colors but more to contrast and value. If these words are abstract in this context for you, then let me quickly explain. The contrast is how light an area is compared to the surrounding dark areas, like the edge on the bowler in the foreground and the neighboring background area. Try looking at your reference photo in a grayscale to see this better. Value is how light a color is, uh, the green color on a specific spot, is it lighter or darker than the greens next to it? Always try to let your brush strokes follow the angle of the surface you're painting. This will make a huge difference later. Decide from the start what your focus is, what is the most interesting parts of your painting. In this case, I like the uh, big bowlers in the foreground and also um, later I, I wanted to add a little boy uh, sitting on the rock, so that is of course my focus. So the uh, parts that's uh, not the focus areas and they should be much more blurry they have less amount of colors and larger chunks of uh, patches while the focus area should be the opposite many more color variation and bigger contrasts and brighter and stronger in color value A great tip for the beginner is to jump back and forth all over the painting rather than spending too much attention to a specific area. This helps you with the overview again. 